So we're in Caister. Glenn's just going in to get some uh, haddocken chips. We're going to share one between us. Little kid saying he's dying for a poo. No, we're sharing. You've added a fish cake, mm. you little devil, you. Sorry. So had, having satisfied our appetite with the fish and chips, we're now going to go on a little walk around Caister and led, about Caister? led by the book. Glenda is the, uh, the reader for today. And where are we heading first? Well, first, let me just tell you, the name Caister yeah. comes from the Latin word castra, meaning camp. Yep. And this is how this little market town, perched on the edge of the Lincolnshire wolds, originated before the first century AD. Yay. There's a little bit here. Later, Caister suffered the plague, and in 1681, the town was ravaged by a terrible fire. Most of the timber-framed houses were destroyed. 45 families were rendered homeless, and a number of unfortunate townsfolk were killed. Okay, what have we got there then, Glenda? Well, we've got the, the Butter Market. Butter Market. And you've got the White Hart Pub, um, the remaining public house from the original 29 that used to be in the town. Oh, God. Um, Everyone drank because ale was better for you than water. And if you carry on along, which we're going to South Street, it says, note the arches on both sides of the road, which indicate coach entrances to the former inns. So if there are 29 of them, there'll be lots of these coaching arches. Right, well, we're turning right into Bob's Lane. Um, it's a picturesque miniature street with quaint little houses on both sides. It's the old fire engine station, it was horse drawn, 1869 it dates back to, and to call it out it cost three pounds, which was an awful lot of money in those days. Um, and it was called by the church bells, the tenor and the treble bells ringing. And the building above it is the old, uh, what's it say, the old primary school built in 1859. A modern church with a cafe when we're not in lockdown. The wall here is the old Roman wall. Oh, no. Look at those sweet peas, that's what I should look like, darling. Well, yes, <laughs> but they're babies at the moment. Look, there, there's the sweet peas Glenn's referring to. The dogs, they're after us. Here you can see where there are windows and doors that are no longer. Two, because it's two o'clock. It must be, yeah. yeah. I, I was pointing out earlier that there's a lovely little door knocker in the shape of a, a violin and the horse dingy-dong bells. And just around the corner here, there's a lovely little treat for you. Right. 
this little spring here, yeah. I don't know if it's called Cipher or Cipher Spring, yeah. used to come right across the street here. Yep. Because of that, it used to be the brewery. And obviously it was something to do with the processing. Through this fence is a fragment of the old Roman wall. The church dates back to the 13th century, but yeah. unfortunately, because of the COVID 19, nobody's allowed in. No, so, but it does tell you that there are various things within the church. Lovely looking church and the age indicated by how badly the stones are worn but it gives it a fantastic character. What have we here? Well, there's another, uh, but you can't get into it, it's all blocked off. It was called a non conformist church, a uh, graveyard at the back there. Yeah. This was an old church as well. And there's a school down here as well, yeah, Case to Grammar School. school. Part of the Viking Part Way. Of the Viking Way, yeah. And the wooden plaque denotes that there were 66 Roman skeletons found in the grounds of the old Talbot Inn across the road. Now a co-op. Now a co-op. 